I give salam to my people in Bangladesh. Salam to the people of Marrakesh. Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well here. So, we had a special guest here today. That's my uh, grandson. Okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. and then I'll show you my, my son in law. Yeah, so, basically, this is Todd. He's just going to show something. Yeah, hey, his, hey his mate, how are you? He's married to um, a Muslim, uh -huh. um, and that's the first time he actually came across Islam. He came to our table, he wanted to know a bit about, a bit, a bit more about Islam. That's my so, Muslim son in law. Oh, okay. So just, oh, sorry. Uh, I hit the wrong one. There he is. Oh, okay. And you can see my daughter covers her hair now. Okay, is, is, is your daughter accepted Islam or she's... You know, I don't know. Um, I mean, she obviously is following the um, Muslim traditions of covering okay. her hair okay, and... Uh, respect. Okay, and is, is she, is she, would you define yourself as Christians or...? Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay, yeah, so as, as Muslims, we are allowed to marry the people of the book. Uh -huh. So the Christians and the Jews, we believe are close to us uh -huh. because they are the people of the book. Okay. Um, you know, they believe in a lot of the prophets that we believe in. Uh -huh. um, so the concept of oneness of God is there still, even uh -huh. though we believe in Christianity, that's kind of changed. But um, in a nutshell, so the first time you came to know about Islam was via your daughter meeting them. Muslim, correct, right? correct, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So before that, was you a bit apprehensive? Because obviously we know how the media portrays Islam. You know, was you, was you, was you a bit worried? Um, I mean, to be fair, I used to live in Paddington back when they had, I don't know, one of the wars. Okay. And uh, in, near Bayswater, there's a very large Muslim okay. population. Okay. And, you know, I had people that would argue with me about stuff that I wasn't okay. engaging in. Okay. So I guess I kind of minded my own business and okay. left them alone, to be honest. Is, the eye, is there some bothering your eye? Places. No, 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 it's fine. Okay. No, it's that. Oh. Okay. Huh? Is one of them not on? Is it? Oh, is it my one? Shop, shop Both of them on. Shop, okay. Shop kick it? Yeah. So, okay, that's 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 interesting. So, as as Muslims, we believe in the. We be, like I was I was uh, not a Muslim nine years ago. Okay. I accepted Islam nine years ago. He was a Christian before, I think 16 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 15, 16 years ago. Okay. One of the things that I can say we share a common trait with what attracts us to Islam was uh, the understanding of the pure monotheism. So what it is is, and this is what Islam actually came. We don't believe Islam has been here from uh, 1400 years ago. We uh -huh. believe Islam, Islam has been there since the time of Adam. Okay. So, and the main message is very simple. God Almighty asks us as human beings his creation to worship God and God alone. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Don't forget we want to give that to him. Oh, yeah, just, just, just keep it there, no problem. Yeah, one of yeah. these. Yeah, yeah. One of these and the yeah. red one there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just so stick it the main core message is what? The human beings ask creation to have a relationship with God Almighty. Uh -huh. So you said you believe in God anyways. Yeah, uh, okay. a higher power, yeah. A higher power. I'm not power. sure exactly what that is, but yeah. Okay, so you, you say you're an agnostic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what we say is that, for example, if there is a higher power, then there must be a purpose that he's given us. Uh -huh. So what we say is that, for example, if you look at this elastic band, uh -huh. somebody found the need to make this. Maybe there was a demand for it. Uh -huh. It gave it its purpose, it gave it its properties, and it designed it in a certain way so it fits a certain function. Okay. So what we say is that it's impossible to fathom that the one who created us, the high power, has no relationship with us. Okay. Because if the person who made this has given it a purpose, surely I must have a purpose as well. Okay. You know, otherwise it will be some form of an insult uh, to the high power uh, uh -huh. to claim that he created us and he left us. Yeah. So what we say is that he wants to build that relationship with, uh, with him. Uh -huh. So God Almighty says in Surah, uh, there's a chapter in the Quran, it's called Surah Al Imran. Uh -huh. And um, I think if it's 189, 190, God, God Almighty says, indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth, uh -huh. and in the alternation of the night and day, there are signs for those who have intellect. Okay. So what God Almighty is telling us is ponder upon my creation. Uh -huh. You know, look around, look at the things, look in within yourself. Yeah. So God Almighty says in the Quran, within yourself there are signs. Okay. You know, for example, like um, in, in, also in the Quran, Allah Almighty says that the, when, when this specifically Islam, the, the, not the Islam that was there from the beginning, right. but when it came to the pagan Arabs, the pagan Arabs used to worship idols. So Islam has 
come to purify that because we don't believe there is anything worthy of worship except God Almighty. Okay. We do not believe that we should be worshipping idols, we should be worshipping mankind, we should be worshipping money. Uh -huh. uh, so worship is not just something you bow down to because someone might prioritise their life around uh, materialism and okay, that's their yeah. God. Yeah. Or Allah says in the Quran, have you seen the one who takes his desires as his own God? Meaning he, he does what he wants to do rather than what God tells him to do. Okay. So we say you are indirectly actually worshipping yourself because you're saying I want to do this even though God is telling me to do me. Okay. So the, the whole message of the Quran is very simple. Worship God alone. Now, how does that work? Now, if you go to the Christians, for example, mm -hmm. Christians ch change the denominations, is that if you ask them, do you worship one God? They'll say, yeah, we worship one God. Uh -huh. But then when you ask them about Jesus, which we affirm, by the way, we believe in Jesus' miraculous birth, uh -huh. the miracles he did, his, 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 we believe in his mom. His, uh, there's a whole chapter on his mother's name, like Mary. Okay. There's a whole chapter in the Quran. And he's mentioned in the Quran many times as well, 25 times if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. But what the Christians say now is that they believe he, Jesus is God, he's divine. Now this is where we kind of differ. Otherwise we've got a lot of things in common. That's why God Almighty tells us the people of the book, because we can eat from your meat, uh -huh. we can marry from you, yeah, yeah. you know, um, and even when it comes to certain like aspects like living together in harmony. So the main message is, Todd, very simple, that Jesus is not God, uh -huh. and that Jesus always referred to, far, to the Father. If you read the Bible, right, yeah. Jesus continuously refers to a higher being. He says, I myself can do nothing. As I, see, I, as I see, I judge, and my judgment is just, for I don't seek my will, but the will of my Father. Uh -huh. Anybody that says, I don't seek my will, but the will of God, is a Muslim in our eyes. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's, that's in a nutshell. I don't know if you have any questions. I yeah, want to go yeah. on it. I don't want to give a sermon here. No, no, you <laughs> did a very good job. Actually. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. I appreciate no, it. I, I understand that. Yeah. I got that. Yeah. So, so, so would, you, would you, do you believe Jesus to be God? No, I never believed that. No. Okay, you know, that's very interesting. I believed him to be the son of, of the, the higher power. Okay, you, when you mean son, because you know, it's, there's sons by the tongue. So for example, we are called like Abdullah, the slaves of God. Uh -huh. not, not in the, that term that, you know, right, transatlantic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, do you mean by son, a literal son, or for example, son in the context of that connection between to God? Do you believe he's a literal son, or is he a son by the? No, I don't think he's a literal son. Okay, no. okay, I okay. Think with a connection with okay. God. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, what we say is, for example, um, we don't refer to him as the son, but if you refer to him as the son in the context of how we refer to, refer to each other as Abdullah, uh -huh. meaning that like the slave of God, right. that's that's understandable in the context. Why? Because we believe God does not beget nor is he begotten. Okay. He does not have a son. He doesn't befit his majesty. Uh -huh. That's why God Almighty says in the Quran that we should talk to the people of the book, the Christians, uh -huh. and come to common terms. That's what God tells us. Tell them to come to common terms between us and you that we worship God and God alone, the high power that he was talking about, yeah? Right, yeah Let's sure. worship him, him alone. Because what happens is that some people, they believe in the one true God, uh -huh. but they say, we go through Jesus. Or there are some Muslims who go through Muhammad. Uh -huh. They say, oh, I, I, I ask Muhammad, and then I ask him to ask God kind of stuff, yeah? Okay, so yeah. what we say is we believe this to be some kind, kind of idol worship. Why? Because what you're doing in a nutshell is you're giving attributes of that belong to God to human being. Because you're saying, I'm going to ask in the name of Jesus. And we're saying Jesus can't really help you because Jesus was created by God. Right. So which one is more better to do or uh, logically? That you worship the one Jesus worshiped? Like when he went to the mountain of Gethsemane in the Bible and he, and he, and he, and he went down, he bowed down and prayed. Uh -huh. So we say, who was he praying to? He was praying to the God, the Almighty. Right. So what we're just saying is that we should cut any kind of intermediaries In between yeah. God uh -huh. and worship him alone. That's, okay. the, that's, that's, that's it, that's what God wants. Okay. And in return, he uh, promises paradise. He, he promises that there'll be a hereafter, which I'll give you a book about the hereafter, okay, yeah. Thank you know. You. Um, uh, and all God Almighty really wants from us, Todd, yeah, yeah. is that build that relationship with him. He wants you to know that this life is a temporary life. We are all going to die. We have a greater purpose. And in the hereafter, you can have whatever you like. And I think it was Ibn al-Qayyim, one of the scholars of Islam. He said, this life is a mixture of hell and heaven. Uh -huh. So you have calamities, you have good days. Yeah, yeah. But which, if you pass the test, you're either going to have eternal paradise or eternal hell. Okay. Now, we don't believe God is a God of wrath. Like, he wants to throw his in hellfire. Right. Allah says in the Quran, what will I get out of punishing you? So God is saying, like, can you, you know, I sometimes give the analogy of a little child kicking me. And I look at him, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to punch you. Right. I'm, 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 why would I, do you get what I'm trying to say? It's as yeah. if when God talks to us, it's as if he's telling us, I don't want to punish you. So God Almighty has given us many procedures in place to earn rewards. So in Islam, smiling is charity. Uh -huh. So if, if, if I'm walking past him or you and I smile, 
I get a reward. It's a form of charity. Yeah. Even Every, have, everybody in Senegal smiles when they see you. They, 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 they get a lot of charity. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Every single. They're like person. the nicest people I've met. Yeah. 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 L literally, to walk from here to that tree yeah. with yeah. my son-in-law. Yeah is an hour-long walk because yeah. we have to talk to every single person. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my life in a nutshell. Yeah, when I'm here, I, I can't walk from here to there. Yeah, yeah. So how's your son-in-law? Is he, is he, how is he towards you? Is he good? He's a good guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's good with the baby. He's, he's good with my daughter. Yeah? Oh, he's, that's good. He's firm. You know, he's, yeah? he's a man. No, of course, you, you have to. That's, you know, that's, that's, you know, I don't have a problem cause, with Because Allah says in the Quran, men are the maintainers and protectors of women. Yeah, yeah. So for example, this legislation which is legislated in Islam is to protect the rights of women. So yeah. the first thing, for example, as a Muslim, what he has to do is first thing is obviously, it depends because if he's a Muslim, you have to speak to the father mm -hmm. of the person, person you want to marry. Number two, you have to give a dowry. Uh -huh. So she would have have to ask for some sort of a dowry. I don't, I don't, uh, she had to get permission from the village elder to get married. Okay, interesting. Uh, or to even start a relationship. And then okay. they didn't have complete control over the name of the baby. Again, okay. there was a big ceremony where okay, that's the village has maybe 200 people. I paid for dinner for 800 people. Oh my gosh. 600, 600. Okay. So 400 people came yeah. to the village yeah. to honor my grandson. Okay. at his naming ceremony. Interesting, maybe it's cultural, something more. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's Islam, or then, I think it's more cultural. You know, Maybe then when, when oh, I okay. left the village, I had to have a one-on-one a -on -one meeting with the village elder okay. to, to tell him that I appreciate him looking after my daughter in my absence. How did you and feel I about him. the whole process? Because it's obviously something that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, really yeah, really yeah my daughter coached me. I mean, she speaks, they speak French here. So ah, French. Okay. She speaks Wolof, which yeah. is a dialect, and also Pular, which is another dialect. Okay, interesting. So she's able to communicate uh, with him on my behalf. Yeah. Interesting. So it's, it's an interesting experience to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, it seems yeah. like you're an open-minded person because you know yeah, it might be something yeah. a lot to take in. You know, but yeah, no, no. I, I, you know, I am open-minded. I've got mm. six kids, so yeah. they're all different. They yeah. all have their own personalities. Yeah. And things. And, interesting. That's you know, good, man. I'm not sure I'm strong enough to live in a village in Africa. Yeah, in a very yeah. Remote place. Yeah. It is. You know, I was ready to leave after about a week. Is your is your, is your daughter planning on staying there? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. She's. Oh, she's happy. That's good. You know, there. sometimes you know we look at that kind of lifestyle. I'll be honest with you. It's it's, it's sometimes they're the most happiest people ever. Yeah. You know, we, we might be in the West here and have all the luxury of cars and believe me it doesn't bring happiness there's no luxury there yeah exactly. everyone eats in a communal bowl with their right hand but, but, but what goes on with your left hand I don't really want to talk about <laughs> but, but, but just say they don't have any of that going yeah, yeah. On. exactly so, yeah. you know but it's, it's, it's interesting you know Todd do you have any questions for me like is there anything you really no, wanted no, about no, Islam no, you've, you've done yeah? a good job I'm, I'm gonna read this stuff no and problem. maybe I'll run into you again 100% thank but you very much for your time Todd your, uh, yeah, no 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 your don't, worry. don't worry Todd it was, it was a pleasure I really appreciate Todd nice, nice you. gentleman you. if you have any questions we're here every Sunday okay Brent and give 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 salam to your daughter and the husband okay thank you thank you take care take care uh, Todd, have you got a Quran? Todd, have you got, have you got a Quran? No, I do not. Let me give you one. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you got one already, yeah? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, so that was interesting. Yeah, very uh, yeah I think he was, he was a very nice gentleman. Um, you know, he was very, very polite, very open-minded. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided me. It does seem like he is someone that is genuinely looking. And we gave him a bit of different, different uh, stuff uh, for what, him to read. What I also appreciate about Todd was that he was just here to listen. Yes. And just to learn. Exactly. That's something as well. That exactly. It's important, you know, having having sincere, genuine people, it's, it's, they're priceless. They're priceless that at our dawah tables. And may Allah keep him firm, inshallah. Till next time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.